Hi Pisces, this reading is for you if you're in love with or have a crush on someone and would like to know how they feel about you. I'll do two spreads. In the first spread, we'll try to see if they feel the same way about you. Then, if the feelings are mutual in the second spread, we'll look at the potential between you and this person. Or, if their heart is with uh, someone else, in the second spread, we'll see who is coming towards you in the near future. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. Alright Pisces, let's see what the person you're in love with or have a crush on thinks about you. We have uh, the Ten of Wands, clarified by the Six of Swords, we have the World, we have the Ace of Cups, clarified by the King of Pentacles and the Page of Cups, and we also have the High Priestess on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. I can interpret the spread a couple of uh, different ways. First of all, you're dealing with this King of Pentacles in both scenarios. Um, it could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. If it's not an earth sign, it could be somebody who is um, a business person. You know, they could be uh, somebody who works for a financial institution. They could be um, wealthy, right? And something is going on in this person's life. That's scenario number one. They're dealing with some kind of a burden or an issue or responsibility. Um, or perhaps if this person is at a distance from you, they will they are planning a trip, right? So something is going on in this person's uh, life, and they're not letting you know. So yeah, scenario number one is they're dealing with something. The ten of ones, the first card I came out. This is a card of a burden. It's a card of an obligation or responsibility. Perhaps they have a, they have a lot of work. They need to um, complete, perhaps they're working on a project or if they could be traveling for work right now. Um, and uh, it's about to come to an end, to be honest with you. That's what I see here. And uh, you'll be hearing from this person once they're done dealing with whatever it is they're dealing with. The High Priestess on the bottom of the deck, this is a card of uh, something that you are not aware of. So perhaps they don't want to let you know that they're dealing with some kind of an issue. Right? Uh, they don't want you to feel a certain way, I guess. The Ten of Wands is clarified by the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords in this scenario is a, a card of a rough patch being over. This is a card of moving out of choppy waters towards calmer waters. This is a card of an improvement. And uh, since it's clarifying the Ten of Wands, I think in this scenario, this is them finally taking care of whatever that Ten of Wands here represents. A burden, a responsibility, an obligation, some sort of difficulty, an obstacle. Right? So they are about to take care of it. They're about to overcome it. The world is my happy end card, so this is one chapter of your life coming to an end, and a new uh, happy chapter of your life is about to begin once they've taken care of whatever that is they're taking care of. So here they come with the Ace of Cups, clarified by the King of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. So the Page of Cups is uh, them reaching out to you, asking you out on a date, sending you a bouquet of flowers, being super nice to you, writing you a poem, perhaps. <laughs> And uh, the King of Pentacles, like I said, that's the person that you're dealing with. And the Ace of Cups is um, a love offer coming from them. The Ace of Cups is one of the best cards when it comes to um, love offers. This card always talks about genuine, authentic love. Right? In scenario number two, and I already kind of touched on it, if this person is at a dis is at a distance from you, that could be the problem. Right? So they, I think, are making plans to come to you. And that's what they're not telling you. The High Priestess on the bottom of the deck is a card of a secret. So they're planning a secret trip to see you, right? And the Ten of Wands is a card of a, it's still a card of a burden. If they are at a great distance from you, perhaps they need a visa, or perhaps it's just uh, traveling expenses, or you know, this distance is the is the obstacle with that Ten of Wands. But like I said, they're about to um, make it a make it a thing of the past. The Six of uh, Swords, this is them coming towards you. In this scenario, the Six of Swords, this is them literally coming to see you. The world in the middle, it, it could be someplace remote, so like I said, uh, they are the distance from you. They will uh, be coming to see you with the World card. And uh, here they come with the Ace of Cups and uh, uh, the Page of Cups. It's the same deal as in the first scenario. They're going to be Letting you know, hi, I'm here. <laughs> and uh, with the Ace of Cups, this is them pretty much confessing their love to you. So yeah, it's a, 
whatever that ten of what ten of wands is, it's gonna become a thing of the past. I think this person is very dedicated. They're dedicated to take care of whatever they're taking care of, whatever they're dealing with. Or if there is a distance between the two, if they're away from you, they will make sure to come and uh, pay you a visit and tell you just how much they love you with that Ace of Cups. All right, let's take a look at the potential spread real quick. All right, Pisces, so here's the potential between you and uh, the person we saw in the first spread. We have the Two of Cups, we have the Six of Wands, we have the Hierophant, and we also have the Eight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Taurus or pretty much any Zodiac sign. Um, if this person lives at a great distance from you, they could uh, move. <laughs> they could move into the same city, well, or when the two of you do move in together, they may move in together with you where in, in the same city where you live. Right, um, the eight, that's what I'm thinking of the Eight of Cups on the bottom of the deck, all the way to your right. The Eight of Cups is a card of leaving something or someone behind. So that, like I said, this person could be moving across the world, leaving their existing lifestyle behind, so they could be with you. The Eight of Cups is also a card of um, leaving something, going on a journey in the search of happiness, in the, in the search of uh, your wish come true. In some tarot decks, the Eight of Cups has one of the cups in the sky and the person walking away is walking towards that cup something you know something they wish for right so perhaps this person you're dealing with uh, they went on a journey in their life looking for the love of their life and now they think that uh, that search is over now that they have found you their search is over right um, but it's a, it's a good card so basically the Eight of Cups is what they're willing to do for you. That's what it kind of feels like. They're willing to make drastic changes in their life, leave things behind, leave their lifestyle behind, leave their um, like belief system behind just so they could be with you. That's what it kind of feels like with that Eight of Cups. And uh, yeah, the Two of Cups, the first card I came out, is a card of a soulmate connection. This is a card of unconditional love. It's a card of two people in love with each other. You know, this is a card of two people in line with uh, what they want. <laughs> um, uh, the Six of Wands is a card of victory. It's a card of success. Back in the day, the Six of Wands used to be called the Proposal card, and that's what it could be playing out as, as the Proposal, because we also have the Hierophant right next to the deck. The Hierophant is the personal Taurus card. So that King of Pentacles could be a Taurus, but as we all know, uh, the same card could be interpreted in many different ways, even, even, even in the same spread. So the, the Hierophant is also a card of something uh, traditional, like a committed relationship or marriage. And uh, this is also a very spiritual card, so you're definitely connecting with this person on multiple levels, including the spiritual level. I like it. I like it a lot. So it is a journey. It is a journey. Yeah, not an easy journey, but um, this is a journey with a happy end, a commitment. Uh, the Six of Wands, like I said, it is a victory card. It's a victory for both of you, right? And uh, you definitely have this amazing potential with the Hierophant card. And it is your soulmate. Don't forget about that. <laughs> All right, Pisces? So, yeah, um, that's what I got for you. Um, for this reading. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. Don't forget to check out my other videos on this channel. And other than that, Pisces, have an amazing April. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you, and if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.